14 under in the opener and they sent on their journey. Lucretia, slow about a length, going to tuck in near the end of the line. Murphy Station making a move for around them. Tilmeath is right there. Tenacious Times in touch with them. Alma Mater. Story booked the white headgears deeper out. Carmine is the grey. Miller Man, white sleeves and cap, is about four lengths off them. National Unity's mid division. Giuseppe Song just in behind. Guy Fox towards the inside. In fact, Guy Fox is just off the bridle today. So not fighting, he's off the bridle. Tilmeade's made a length around them. Without doubt, further back, Lucretius has dropped out to anchor this field. Eight lengths top to tails. Now going to go around. Coming to the business end, 5.50 to go. Murphy Station, a length and a quarter. On the outside, tenacious time. National Unity's looking for some galloping room. All the while, Giuseppe Song's going to flow through towards the inside. Guy Fox goes through one off the inside. Without doubt, tries to come forward. On the outside, National Unity. Guy Fox. Giuseppe Song's between them inside the 200 meter marker. National Unity, Giuseppe Song. These are the two over the last 100. Giuseppe Song just with his head in front. National Unity won't go away. Giuseppe Song's going to seal the deal. National Unity, Guy Fox, then without doubt. It might not be the Vodacom Derby in July, but it's a qualified maiden plate on a Monday, and the joy is just as much, let me tell you. Mr. Ashwin Reynolds owns Giuseppe Song in partnership with MJ Udendahl Racing Stables, and any winner is a good winner. And MJ warned us, he said that he's been banging at the door, he's now kicking down the door, and he's coming in, and he's coming in in a big way. The money flew in for Giuseppe Song, and you've got to thank Warren Kennedy for a fantastic ride. But Sponella Dlanger, is the gentleman who also played his part in preparing Giuseppe Song for today's win. And uh, well done to you, Sponello. On behalf of Hollywood Bets and on behalf of Gold Circle, you get yourself a thousand rand. Well done. Yeah. Thumbs up. Cheers. Let's talk to Warren. First of all, well done with yesterday's uh, fabulous day in Gauteng, but uh, we're in uh, the Val, at least we're uh, not in the Val, we're at Gravel today, Hollywood Bets Gravel. And, uh, Early part of the race, this uh, girl seemed to drop it a bit. Am I right? You nudged once or twice, said, come on, don't do this, let's go. Yeah, you know what, Warren? Um, first of all, MJ phoned me up last week. He said, listen, I've got a ride for you. Um, please take it. I think it'll win. So big thanks to MJ for that one. He, he found me to ride this horse. Um, and I watched his replays last round, you know, Warren. He came out the gates. He got bustled a bit. Got a knock from, from, from the left-hand side. And he seemed to just over-race it, but he sort of overreacted. reacted a, a, a immature horse still. You know, taking those bumps and, and over racing and he sort of lost his way top of the straight and then started to rally towards the end so I thought you know what I'm going to ride him with the respect that he's, he is still a learning a horse that's learning that is a bit immature so more of a clean sort of race than anything else you know I wanted to be a bit closer but the speed was really on and he was in a good rhythm where he was he was very comfortable he was enjoying his race and you know as the race unfolded I was just able to allow him to to move up in my hands really just extend his stride and and teach him that you know, build into your race, and he built in nicely. He waited for the challenge to come and knocking at the door, and always felt had a little bit, little bit more in hand. He's probably also looking for a bit further, but well done to MJ. Turned him out fantastically. He's a horse that isn't going to stop here. He's going to improve still. He, he's had a good run today, and he's learned a lot from this. I, I'm sure he will come on quite a bit. Uh, what what also impressed me is as you turned for home, you know, that peeled open nasty for you, and you got him going. You said, let's go, let's race, and, and that's good to teach them, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, because also, like I said, his last run, he sort of hit a flat spot at the top of the straight, and he rallied late. So I wanted to keep his rhythm as smooth as possible and, and get him stretching as early as possible in the straight, knowing that he would finish the race like he did last time, and um, finish it, he did. Before you go, one or two of your rides later on that we can include in bets? Look, I'm pretty competitive throughout the day. Um, I like a bit of, of what a blast. High purpose, obviously got to have a chance. Uh, I'll be a bit worried about the, the form line of his last win. It was a very slow run race. He led for absolute free. So a bit of caution with him. Um, and Mystic Master as well, a cool Apache. She's a filly that doesn't really stay in the race. She's a really hard ride to keep her, her mind on the job. But she's capable. And like I said, Mystic Master in the last blinkers off. He pulled very hard at me last time. So drop and trip, blinkers off. Um, he should be competitive as well. Well done. Let's hope we chat later. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Cheers. Let's get MJ Odendahl in. Well done to you, MJ. And uh, they're just going to get a quick photograph. And, uh, yeah, the money certainly came. And uh, well done to you. And well done to Ashwin Reynolds. He's one of he's one of courageous racers horse. Well done to you, MJ. The stable is now starting to fire and fire on all cylinders. Well done. Yeah, it's great to 
we've started the season off quite well. The purpose is to, because we're not that big, to, to keep our percentages up. But Uncle Ash, the proof is in the pudding, I told you. Um, and yeah, we, I know Uncle Ash, he's excited to win. This is winning in the July, you know what I mean? He loves his racing. Absolute gentleman to train for, great guy. And we just got one saying, the proof is in the pudding. And uh, also to, 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 to my other sponsors, Hollywood, um, thank you very much. And thank you to all the Hollywood supporters, you know, the people who go to Hollywood. You know, they, they, they've got a lot of outlets where, where the people are comfortable enjoying themselves. And uh, as I heard, Springfield Park has got the best bunny in the world. So if somebody's looking for a bunny, Hollywood Springfield Park. MJ, you've said it all. Well done to you. Long may the hits keep coming. Well done. Just one more to Dasha, who has supported us and who's also sponsored a couple of jockeys and are really coming into the game very well. Thank you, Vili. Um, and uh, we're all like a big family and we're all enjoying each other and, 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 and it's great. So thanks to everybody. And the band plays on, Dion. Well done, M. Thank you very much. Spot on. Congratulations. That is... Giuseppe's song for Ashwin Reynolds, Vodacom Durban July winning owner, MJ Udendal Racing Stables, back with stud bred Giuseppe song, Oratorio Gelding. He certainly went to the post a treat and he's come home to the post even better. 8, 5, 7, and 11. Bipots are on. Let's get ready for the place accumulator. <laughs>